everyone. I am Rabab Zehra from TechX Media. As a guest, I have with me right now Tajal Khayat. He is Area VP for EMEA South at Vectra AI. Let's talk to Taj and get to know more about Vectra AI's Jitex participation and their recent initiatives. Hi, Taj. How are you? Hello, Rabab. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. Uh, so, Taj, we want to know that when Vectra talks about challenges associated with cyber security you often uh, talk about it in terms of spiral or of more can you elaborate on this absolutely so when talking to our organizations uh, customers partners um, security architects security analysts we realize that um, they wanted outcome based solutions that allows them to address the aspect of the spiral of more, which is a lot to do with them having to deal with a lot of tools. Mm -hmm. So more tools, mm -hmm. which basically drives more data, which basically drives more alerts. So security operations specialists today, you know, they want to do less with the ability to address the cyber attacks that are basically happening. So um, when we look at um, a lot of the different aspects of uh, how organizations today are dealing with the sophisticated attacks uh, when they're dealing with too many tools, when they're dealing with uh, getting to a level of burnout, uh, when they're dealing with too many alerts. That is for us a major change and a major challenge that we're trying to address for those organizations. That's that's pretty interesting. So moving forward, how does Vectra help organizations overcome this challenge? So, so first of all, um, the Vector AI platform um, delivers a integrated signal uh, across all the different attack surfaces uh, because the traditional way of looking at things is based on siloed approach. So they look at the signal from a specific attack surface. However, attackers in the hybrid cloud world, they attack integrated attack surfaces. So uh, because of the way that they infiltrate and they start doing lateral movement. So you can't be looking at things in a solid approach. You have to look at things at a holistic mm -hmm. approach. Right. So the Vector AI platform um, enables uh, organizations to have an integrated um, attack signal mm -hmm. uh, across um, four of the five uh, attack surfaces. So public cloud, network, SaaS, identity. And we integrate with market leading endpoint detection and response. Um, to basically provide the ability to cater to the fifth attack surface, which is the EDRs. And we do that by leveraging uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning. So the power of the Vectra AI platform is actually the very sophisticated uh, AI engine that we have in our platform, which basically addresses three um, key elements. The first thing it addresses is that the security operation center effectiveness so we help security analysts uh, reduce their loads by providing them highest fidelity, less noise uh, when they're dealing with the integrated um, attack uh, surface signals. We also uh, provide uh, their ability to leverage AI and ML in modernizing their security operation centers because in the AI platform of Vectra, the AI does actually the uh, detections, it does the prioritization, it does the triaging, that makes the security operations specialist more effective in addressing the detections and continuing to be a step ahead of the attackers. Uh, and the other area as well, which is very important for us as well, is the fact that um, our uh, 150 plus algorithms that we have in our AI enable the organizations to uh, not only cater to the known attacks, which we garner from threat intelligence and signatures, but for also uh, enabling uh, organizations to be protected against the unknown threats. And that's due to the fact that uh, we align with 90% coverage to the MITRE attack framework, and we have patented and proven countermeasures, which is based on the MITRE defend uh, countermeasures, where Vectra is actually referenced there. Uh, and we do that by enabling the AI to think like an attacker based on techniques, tactics, and behaviors that uh, an attacker goes through. So we have our AI that is on the countermeasure looking at those behaviors. So we've got attack 
uh, surface intelligence or attack signal intelligence, mm -hmm. which basically feeds on the known and the anomalies and all the different aspects of the threats that we have encountered, but also the unknown. But we also arm um, the security operations center specialist with intelligence. So we, we have a we, we have an intelligent way of of garnering the security operations specialist for them to be able to focus on what really matters when addressing um, detections and threat detections as, as a whole. Perfect, perfect. Now, uh, moving forward, uh, just about every uh, cybersecurity vendor these days claim to be having an AI-powered solution now. So can you please touch on Vectra's unique AI value proposition? Absolutely. So um, I do agree, you know, AI is, is, is everywhere. I mean, we've seen that the theme of Drytex this year is imagine, a, AI, a, imagine in AI in everything, right? Um, I think from our point of view, I, I would tackle it in, in three kind of key elements. Uh, and I kind of alluded to it earlier. The first thing is that we've been doing this for the last 12 years. And um, we were one of the, if not the first, one of the very few companies that leveraged artificial intelligence and machine learning in cybersecurity. And uh, throughout this time, working closely with our customers, with our partners, we've been able to create very sophisticated algorithms that detect based on uh, attacker behavior, techniques, tactics, and procedures. So that's the core value, if you will, and, and of, of, our, of our solution and the sophistication around our AI and ML. Uh, the second thing is we do a lot of uh, workload enhancements to the security operations specialists where our AI manages um, the detections, manages the triaging, manages the uh, prioritization of the signal that allows security operations specialists to focus on what matters very effectively uh, at speed and scale, because you wanna be able to address those attacks very, very quickly. And then the other important area is basically the way that our AI has been modeled is, was, is around the MITRE uh, attack framework and the countermeasures of that based on the MITRE defend framework. So from our point of view, you have the ability today to use Vectra AI out of the box with our supervised learning with these 150 plus algorithms that can actually start detecting from the beginning as the system learns about the network. So we have the ability to leverage a lot of these sophisticated um, aspects of our ability to leverage AI and supporting security operations center modernization. That's that's great. So wrapping up the conversation, one last question I have is about um, as we get closer to 2024, uh, can you talk about the priorities you have set for the next year? Well, there are there are a couple of important ones. Uh, first and foremost, is we want to continue to support uh, governments, regulators, uh, and enterprises uh, by having the ability to enhance uh, their security posture by moving from preventative tools to proactive um, tools, just such as our uh, threat detection and response uh, platform. So. Uh, because we do believe that um, you know the, the threats are not going to become any more easier. They're going to continue to be, you know, sophisticated, uh, very evasive. So we want to make sure that we provide organizations the ability to counter those um, attacks. The second thing is going to be uh, focus on our channel ecosystem, uh, and particularly working uh, a lot more closer with our managed uh, security services partners. So in all the tier one markets that we have, we will continue to. Um, get deeper and wider in leveraging uh, managed security services partners to leverage Vectra as a service to their customers, specifically to address not just the enterprise, but to also address the small to medium enterprises. And of course, work with um, security consultants to leverage the Vectra tools uh, in their digital forensics and incident response, uh, as we have done with key companies like uh, KPMG, for example, where we do a lot of um, efforts together in their digital forensics and civil response um, aspects. And last but not least is to um, continue to be um, you know, focusing on innovation. Uh, you know, the, the world of cybersecurity is, is very evolving uh, and we want to make sure that we continue R&D. Uh, Vectra spends, uh, you know, a very big portion of their income annually on, on R&D. So we will continue to do that because we do understand the power of AI and ML. We want to still leading that that pack of leveraging AI and cybersecurity. That's very, very interesting. Um, and thank you so much for sharing this valuable information with us. Thank you very because much for the time. Thank you very much, Rabab.
Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Tech X to know more about what is happening at Jitex Technology Week. Goodbye.